Hi everyone, welcome to my Viking painting. This is my first painting in 2018. Um, I have down on my palette some premium um, Deco Art Americana paints. I have um, a hue, uh, a cadmium red hue. I have primary yellow. I even have, I have some acrylic titanium white. They're all acrylic, sorry. Um, burnt umber and some cobalt blue hue in it, that pla that plate I believe. I'm using all these colors. I'm also going to add um, some sap green on this plate as well. And the white that was on those paints that you could see was the heavy gel medium gloss that I have on top there. So at this point I'm just adding a base to kind of form a background for my um, Viking. And this is his helmet. And I'm using the um, burnt umber and white mixture just to kind of lighten it up and just put a base color. Um, starting to create his facial features. And I'm doing the same colors. I think I touched the hue of red there, the, the cadmium red hue. And start working a little bit of features in there. Just to see where my placements are. Um, I did put a little black here outline. Um, I sh maybe shouldn't have used black, but that's what I used at the moment. I think I, I added a little brown in there, the, uh, the uh, burnt umber with it. But I'm just doing a little bit of some outlines, um, just where the darkness of the features are. His eyebrows. And then pretty much just blocking in the rest of my painting. I do add... Um, cobalt blue hue to his eyes to, as a base color as well and then I just kind of work with the um, burnt umber um, yellow primary yellow on his face and his hair is more burnt umber and get a base down for everything and you can see a little partial of his nose there so the rest of it's kind of covered by that plate on his helmet. Um, I was inspired to do a Viking. I just love um, reading history of Vikings and um, sorry about my puppies and um, I continuously read about them and learn about them and watch different programs or documentaries and I'm just inspired to learn more and I love painting them as well so I'm starting to try to do more insp Viking inspired paintings and Northman's inspired paintings and um, prefer the, the the warriors the the Viking warriors and whatnot um, just because of the stories I suppose so now I'm just getting some base colors in his hair and his hair has pretty much all the colors like the reds the yellows a little bit of orangey coming coming through but the top color I kind of want to have a lot of yellow highlights on it. I'm adding little braids underneath his helmet there in his cheeks area, by his cheeks area. And he has a beard <laughs> and a mustache. But yeah, he has he's fully haired. <laughs> and I'm just working on shading and uh, getting his face in there behind the uh, helmet. Working in with law ultramarine um, I'm sorry, burnt umber. I'm getting my colors mixed up here. <laughs> Just getting the shading up. And I lighten it up. I get uh, darker first and I kind of lighten it up as I go. Now I'm getting some shading, blocking in some shapes on the helmet where chunks of metal will be and whatnot. With the uh, umber as well as just the black. The particular black I'm using is not of the same uh, it's it's deco art, but it is like uh, old traditions tradition black. It's, it's carbon black from that pack of or bottle of uh, traditions acrylics. So yeah, I'm just getting a really nice base on the helmet and getting a feel of the shape how I want it on him. 
throwing in highlights and sometimes I cover them up a bit and do different weird colors for the highlights but I, I just go with the flow and I don't really follow any reason I just go with what my naturally seems to come natural and I think that that makes it unique and fun um, it doesn't have to look so uh, realistic and I find that I I might have the, maybe a little odd colors in my painting but I, I find I'm happier when I'm just following what naturally where my paintbrush goes kind of a thing so I just pick up the colors that naturally come to me I don't really think about it so I'm trying to make a little bit of like indication that there's like this helmet's got some shape to it there's a little bit of a high peak on his nose it's kind of like an edge in the center putting highlights and low lights um, trying to figure out where I'm going to put things so the highlights are more going to be on the right side so I'm darkening the left side more and just trying to follow some shapes of the metal that how I know I want the helmet to look and I think I got some sap green in there happening now maybe <laughs> But that's what I mean. I use all the colors and I just kind of play with it. I've got the yellow in my highlights now, seeing how I like the um, primary yellow in there. And it's not so bright, but so neat when you mix it up. And it just goes with layers and layers. Um, I, I put quite the darkness around his face and I lighten it up way at the end to make it look more fleshy. But right now, I'm just trying to get a shadow back there. Working on his hair a bit more, more color coming from there. Because there's going to be a, a layers above, adding where I kind of want to put braids and whatnot. So this is the fun part. The hair, I was like, what am I going to do? <laughs> and I didn't... Um, kind of leave it really wispy, wispy and uh, play with that. I'll be learning more and playing with more with the hair. But yeah, it was, been a, it was a fun one. Making a little bit of a armor there and adding some darkness there. <clears throat> so I think that um, I just enjoy painting things that kind of interest me rather than just like well I guess I think everyone does that but I just find that painting something that interests me makes it more exciting I don't know I was gonna look up maybe an animal and paint an animal I just didn't know what I wanted to paint at first and then I'm like eh, let's look up Vikings and um, get inspired by some pictures Can you see the darkness? I just love it because you just don't worry about it and go in with the dark and you just get put that light over top and pop it up. Really make it uh, his face fall behind all that helmet and uh, pieces of the helmet. Now I think I'm going to play with his eyes. I see myself going in the blue or gray. Oh, I'm making gray in his eyes. Um, yeah, I left his eyes white from the canvas and then I'm just going in with a little bit of gray there I don't want to whiten his eyes totally so now right now they're gray and dark later on I put a little bit of white and leave the I might even add, well, I might even add some now but there's still leaving some gray behind in his eyes I do a lot with his eyes I leave this dry up and I move on to a different part and then I come back to it. So I, I pretty much do that. I'll leave a part for a little bit and go back and add more layers. And then uh, go back and dab more, play with it more. I think I change his eye a little bit too eventually because one eye on his right side I find right now looking at is a teeny smaller. But I do change it up a little bit. I just fix it up a little bit. You can do that when you're in the middle of a painting <laughs> and just like, ooh, what did I do here? Fix it up. I like this part of the painting. This was really interesting. Sometimes I almost could leave a painting look so mysterious like this with the, just the bright red in his cheeks. 
I could fix up his eyes, but I really like the way his, the, you know, it comes about. It's kind of fun to see a painting grow, and it's almost would be neat to have a few paintings just left undone with these weird, interesting colors behind it. It would be neat to be able to paint a progression of paintings of the same painting and perhaps leaving it at one stage and then going on and making the other one a little bit further or something. I think that would be an interesting thing. Maybe I'll have to do that one day. So I'm putting some white um, on his face, but like I said, layers and layers go on. Um, I'm just lighting it up a bit and then I add some of the red and some of the um, burnt umber and just creating some um, the highlights that are in the center area of his face, his cheeks and then see here I'm putting a little bit of red in the burnt umber and it just really makes it him look more fleshy <coughs> excuse me so he's uh, been working hard so his skin's a little fleshy right here <laughs> he's been fighting in a fight Um, a few times you'll see where I'm darkening something and I'm like, oh, I might take my um, paper, my towel and white it up and take it out and don't like it. No. So I leave things dry long enough where I can actually change, I can actually wipe away some paint and it doesn't bother it, the underneath layer. So that's, that's how long. I didn't dry anything with the heat tool. I just took my time and changed spots. And it, it makes it easy to be able to pull paint off if you don't like it right away. Now I'm just highlighting his lips. I kind of like the way they are and I'm going to have some beard hair over them. And the only thing after this, I think I just darken the outer edge of his lip, especially the lower part. And then some beard whiskers will go over and blend it in really nice. Just putting a little highlight on his armor there, his helmet. To pull it away from his face and I will go over this with this highlight bazillion times, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm just trying to get back some of that shape, that I, the design of the helmet um, that I wanted. And sometimes I cover it, sometimes I change it. It's just whatever. I thought, well, this is not looking quite right to me. And I don't even know if this is a true Viking helmet design. It looks almost... <laughs> Um, Greek, but <laughs> I don't know. Um, but hey, I'm trying. <laughs> I personally haven't seen a real true Viking helmet, so we're winging it. There I'm going with the highlights, but then I like doing a little bit of darkness over top of the highlights to uh, use the highlights as an undertone to brighten the darkness. Does that make sense? <laughs> And here's a piece of metal I have right on top that just kind of curls over that's been like hammered on. And uh, going back and forth with highlighting and low lighting. I kind of feel like I went a little crazy on that side of the helmet there after a bit and I had it the way I wanted it, but sometimes we do that we're like overthinking it and changing it up too much, but then I fix it up again. And when you get crazy like that, maybe just go into another spot and <laughs> let that one kind of work. Work itself. Now I'm kind of fixing maybe my po faux pas. Got a little crazy there. But it gives me time to let my face kind of dry up. And then go down and do some blending and with different colors and layers on the face. I was going to do a little bit of a burnt umber and yellow background. I'm like, wait a minute, too much like the hair. So then I wiped all the wetness away from it and then just added my um, cobalt blue hue. A little white ended up in that paintbrush there, but ah, whatever. It was all good. I ended up adding a little bit of burnt umber to the very, very edges even through some of that blue on the helmet to kind of catch some of that reflection. I like that. See, it's just not expected. It just like happens. <laughs> but it's a playful thing. So, 
hopefully, um, I was like thinking about my goals this year. Hopefully, I don't know why I said hopefully, but I'm I'm thinking about doing more um, paintings of um, Viking type of things. I'd like to do that. I also want to do a lot more different crafting builds, but um, I do want to have regular paintings as well. So this channel is going to have both. Um, a lot of crafty and um, I'm going to have paintings probably at least once or twice a week. Uh, I'm not going to say I'm going to have videos up every certain day, um, but I'm going to be more loose and, and wing the days that I'm doing paintings and all that kind of thing. But uh, I want to have a lot of paintings and a lot of crafting as well, where I'm building something out of recycled materials and whatnot. So, if you like um, crafting or painting, then I'm, I think you'll like my channel because I like to do both, a lot of both. Um, sometimes I'll get carried away with my paintings and start, but I'm making an effort to not forget about all the people who like to build and craft different things. So I'm liking putting a little darker parts on the metal cheek, um, whatever that is on his helmet, little protection things or his, <laughs> but I was trying to make it a little bit darker and I want to get some hair over that after too. So I was trying to thin it out a little bit and not make a big chunk of metal there necessarily and get some hair right up into it, look natural, more natural. Here I am. Uh, wisping on his hair, his lighter whiskers. So I got the um, yellow, which is the primary yellow, and I got the titan white, titanium white. And I was playing with brushes because I wasn't happy with my brushes. That's why I need new brushes. Um, it was making it look like kitty cat whiskers, and I'm like, no! So I'm trying to play with different brushes, and I'm like, eh. But I found a real long one, and I just started using that one. It's not quite the um, wisps I wanted, but like I said, I do need to replace my brushes. They're just well used. So it's kind of a creamy, yellowy color that I have on top now to make the hair. And I want it, like I said, to come down around the front parts of the helmet that come across his cheeks and to make it look more natural. Of course, this doesn't look like he's a live um, picture, portrait. It looks more animated, but, you know, I was having fun with it. I like it even if it's not lifelike. It's just fun. We all paint in different ways. It's whimsical. It's fun. Enjoy it. And I'm just going to enjoy it and grow in it. So that's all I can do. And that's all we all can do is just try it out and work with it. And eventually they'll get better and better. And we'll just keep learning. So doing his beard hairs down here. And Make sure I get around the cheeks, I think. Oh yeah, around the eyes and all that kind of stuff. So this is a really important part. I'm getting little thick lines there I wasn't too happy with. <laughs> but it's important to get kind of looking more pulled together if you're getting some of the whiskers over the, the helmet pieces. And causing more highlights and all that kind of thing. Oh yeah, this is the part where I think I do thin out that piece there. I'm finding it too thick. I'm adding the burnt umber. I'm going to add a little black and put some whisker hairs over that. See, I made that too thick and it's always, you can always have an opportunity to correct something you're not liking. It looked maybe okay to everyone else, but to me it was just it was sitting funny on his cheek. And maybe too big compared to the other one. So then there I'm pulling some whisker hairs over top of that to make it look like it was never there. Ta-da! Perfect. <laughs> so there we go. So I'm trying to make him somewhat of a sun bleached hair coming off of, you know. <coughs> excuse me. Um, like I said, he's on a ship a lot and his hair is maybe brown, but a lot of sun bleach on there. I'm putting some spots, brown spots on his face, imperfections or um, 
freckles and whatnot. I just felt that I really wanted to do that, add some of that. And fix up a little bit of his eyes, um, playing with them. And I do add a little bit more white, a little bit more blue, touching it up and making it look more like a sparkle of life happening in there. Going in darker, going a little lighter. <clears throat> there we go. Adding that spark. And I believe I actually make his pupils just a teeny bit smaller too. So Putting some white specks in some places. And here I'm just trying to get a little bit more whiskers over his upper lip. And that's, that's pretty much it. There's just little touches here and there that I'm doing. <clears throat> and that is my guy. That is really a lot of my guy. <coughs> He's got two braids, one on either side. I'm trying to make a little bit of a detail. Um, I know they're there. You guys know why by listening to me. Um, I was trying to get a little bit like he had some bleached a little bit colored braids there happening, making his armor look a little bit standing out, just a teeny bit more, or something. <laughs> his chest plate, I suppose. I'm adding a little bit of uh, just a dusting right there of white, kind of uh, bristly. Excuse me. And then that's pretty much it. I'm just adding a little bit here and there. Pulling in some streaks to make like the metals going a certain way and, and that kind of thing. And that was a bit of my touch up. Um, I think the last thing I do here is probably put a little bit of burnt umber. Oh, I am. Um, I make his nose come a little bit like you can see the metal coming to a tip. It's a rounded, but yeah, it still comes to a bit of a, a tip. Um, I can't think of what. Beveled? maybe edge towards his bottom of his nose and yeah so I'm trying to make that decided that I want that metal to look more peaked and I'm just having trouble here because my paintbrush was a little curved at the end which is like no so I wasn't getting my line quite as crisp straight as I wanted and I'm going again over some of the highlights to just make them a little more crisp white a couple spots here and there and I still add a little bit more white. Yeah, there you go. So say I was still. But there's no life there yet. Still adding a little life to his eyes. Um, playing with that, and then after that, I just put a little bit of burnt umber. That's correct to the black, the blue in the background on the edges, and that that's my painting. And that's pretty much the layers on there are just really hard to describe, right? It's just playing with it but it makes it really come to life when you do the layers and I think it's really important. I'm going in with a little bit of the burnt umber and, and the little spots in his beard because I found that I probably didn't have enough of a base coat in there. And that was it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank 